Ghost Stars released this new small teaser on Instagram and it's all about Cooper Sacks. And just like the last teaser we got about Monet, it's only a short clip so head over there and check it out. But I'm going to be breaking it down for you what we saw in that small teaser in this video. Welcome back to MovieBot and I'm talking about whether Cooper Sacks knows that Tasha wasn't the one who killed Ghost. So two days ago I did a quick recap on the new teaser that was released by Ghost Stars on Monet and it looks like Ghost Stars will be releasing teasers daily or every couple of days on different characters in the lead up to power returning to our screens with book 2 on the 6th of September. And I'm going to be bringing you up to date breakdowns and reviews of anything that we get new so if you haven't done so already or you're new to the channel then make sure you hit the subscribe button. I'll leave a link to the new Monet teaser breakdown I did in the description and in the comment section down below as well. But Cooper Sacks, oh man, this guy, he got on my nerves for the whole of the Power series. If I was reviewing the original Power series when it came out, then you guys would have probably got so many videos on me ranting on how much I hate Sacks and how much he needs to go. I mean, he never let Ghost go from the minute Power started and he was just a little cringe at times, like the time he asked Angela if he wanted to go back to her place. But anyway, you've probably figured I don't like Sacks and I don't know whether they'll make him a likeable character in book 2 like they will do with Tariq. I personally don't think they will, Cooper Sacks would be Cooper Sacks and we see it in this new trailer, or should I say teaser. And I just touched on it, he was on Ghost's ass the whole time of power and now that he hasn't got Ghost to be on, he's going to be on the next closest thing and that's his son Tariq. In this new teaser we get, it's only a short clip, we get him asking Tariq if he knows who his mother's protecting and if he does then to tell Cooper Sacks. But the key difference between this clip and what we've seen before in the previous trailers or teasers, Sacks says we can all walk away from this and this is something we've never got in the original trailer trailer that Ghost Stars released and the key thing that Sax says here is we, we can all walk away from this and Cooper Sax knows that he's implicated himself the minute he stepped foot into truth and that gunshot went off while he was there. He knows he's in big trouble. But the thing is the only person that can put him at the scene at the time of the shooting of Ghost is Tariq because Tariq saw him as he was leaving through the back exit and also Ghost turned off all his lights and the cameras so the cameras wouldn't have picked up Sax either but Tariq can't do this otherwise he'll be implicating himself and placing himself at the scene of the crime when the murder took place which of course we know he was because he's the one that pulled the trigger. But can we actually find ourselves in a situation where Tariq and Tasha hatch a plan and end up pinning the murder of Ghost on Sax? and Sax eventually goes down for the murder of Ghost. Quite ironic for someone who was so obsessed with Ghost for the full six seasons of power and then goes down for his murder. And to be honest with you, it would be quite funny to see as well Sax in an orange jumpsuit. And I don't think Sax would last a day in prison if this was ever to happen. He'd end up committing suicide in his first night or even before he gets arrested, he'll probably end up putting a gun in his mouth and pulling the trigger. But I don't know, could they run something like that and have Sax arrested for Ghost murder? Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. But Sax here in this scene, it looks like he's uncovered something. I don't know what it is, but it has to be something to do with the investigation because we know that Sax along with Tamika and Agent Blanca are going to be all over this case. But I think Cooper Sax is going to be the main one that we see. I mean he's going to be a major player in book 2. We're going to see him in all 10 episodes because that's been confirmed. So I don't think we'll see him being killed off either unless it's in the finale right at the very end which is why I'm going to go with they could poss possibly even pin the murder on Cooper Sacks and at first I thought they may be pinning the murder on Dre which could leave Tasha and Tariq in the all clear because Dre can't defend himself he's dead. But now I'm not too sure which everything's pointing towards a big storyline between Sax and Tariq. And them having Sax at truth at the time Ghost was murdered, they could have used that to foreshadow implicating Sax and we know how dodgy Sax can be. And I think with Tamika and Agent Blanca, we'll probably play a secondary role to Sax in this investigation. I mean, we saw Tamika prosecuting Ghost in the courtroom for the murder of Maria Suarez. And the actress who plays Agent Blanca, I think we'll see her return in a small role. She confirmed this replying to one of her Instagram questions saying maybe Sergeant Rodriguez. She's going to pop up and she has a tendency to do so. so. I think they will play a role in this investigation like they did in the previous Power series. But it's going to be all down to Cooper Sacks. Let me know what you guys think of this new short teaser we got on Cooper Sacks and what does he mean by we can all walk away from this and do you think we could see Cooper Sacks being the one who the murder is pinned on eventually? Let me know what your thoughts and comments are down below in the comment section. If you haven't done so already make sure you smash this video with a thumbs up and like and smash the subscribe button before you go as well. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.